you must use a cinema camera that has been certified by Netflix in order to produce original content. This is being done to guarantee a specific level of quality. It's important to remember that any camera may capture excellent video, so you shouldn't let a list determine which camera you should buy. We're going to recommend the top 5 Netflix approved cameras in this video, all of which are under $10,000. Keep watching to see which one is the most cheapest. Let's get started. First up is the FX9 camera, which is built with features that are often seen in regular video cameras but are geared for professionals, like XLR audio inputs and long battery life. It also integrates features like hybrid autofocus and a full-frame sensor from Sony's Alpha mirrorless series. Sony's superior color science, derived from its Venice Motion Picture camera, along with the camera's dual-native ISO sensor allow it to perform particularly well in low light. Despite having a 6K sensor, the FX9 lacks inbuilt RAW recording and downsamples the signal to C4K. It has internal recording capabilities up to DCI 4K at 30 frames per second in full frame or 60 frames per second with a slight crop. The camera can also record at 180 frames per second in 4K full frame or 120 frames per second in 4K or HD when used in conjunction with the XDCA FX9 device. The FX9's remarkable color production and full metal construction, which make it resilient in challenging conditions, are two of its best qualities. Vibrant colors are produced by the camera's custom and CNAL settings, which improve the video quality. Utilizing technologies from Canon's mirrorless EOS R series, the Canon EOS C500 Mark II is a modular cinema camera that transforms into a professional cinema equipment. With its 5.9K full-frame 35mm sensor, it can record high-quality video to memory cards in 4K 10-bit 4, 2, 2x FAVC or 12-bit cinema raw light. The camera has in-body image stabilization and dual-pixel CMOS autofocus, but the image stabilization is not functional while recording in RAW. It isn't the best for taking quick action images, even with a significant cut and a maximum frame rate of 120 FPS. The EOS C500 Mark II can take excellent pictures even in low light with to its remarkable 13.1 stops of dynamic range and 15.8ms rolling shutter. Furthermore, even underexposed by up to 5 stops, the camera can still yield usable footage especially if noise reduction is used in post-production. The EOS C500 Mark II is a fantastic option for a cinema camera with cinema raw light because it has tremendous dynamic range and features. Next up is the Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro 12K, the newest member of the select group of cameras authorized by Netflix. Already renowned for its superb image quality, this camera now comes with an OLPF model that combines a high-performance optical low-pass filter with its 12K Super 35 image sensor. The OLPF's goal is to lessen undesirable effects like noir and aliasing without sacrificing the image's quality or color. A front-mounted interchangeable PL lens mount on the URSA Mini Pro 12K allows it to be compatible with a wide range of professional cinema lenses made by various companies. With a 12K Super 35 sensor and a new color science that incorporates Blackmagic RAW, it is said to have a dynamic range of 14 stops. It can capture 12K video at 60 frames per second at 80 megapixels. By oversampling the 12K video, 8K, and 4K photos are produced. Because each red, green, and blue pixel in the sensor is equal, the camera's sensor architecture is unique and enables the selection of many resolutions while preserving the entire Super 35 frame size. It's one of the least expensive full-frame movie cameras available, especially when you take into account the pricing. One of the greatest cameras under $5,000 is the recently authorized Canon EOS R5C cinema camera. The body of the Canon EOS R5C is similar to that of the R5, 
but because it includes an extra fan at the back for better cooling, it is thicker and bulkier. In contrast to the R5, the R5C supports slow motion recording in 8K, even in Canon's 12-bit cinema raw light format. It can also record in 8K 60fps. Nevertheless, in order to avoid sensor heat buildup, IBIS has been omitted from the R5C. Alternatively, a one-point onyx cropping option with IS lenses for digital stabilization is available. Aside from 12-bit RAW HDR, the Canon EOS R5C supports shooting in RAW HQ, RAW ST, RAW LT, HDMI RAW, and XFAVC YCC4 2 210-bit formats. Because of its favorable dual personality and ability to shoot 45 megapixel still images, the camera is sometimes referred to as a hybrid or dual camera. It is a high-end cinema EOS camera meant for professionals that can capture still images as well as videos. And last but not least, Netflix has accepted the Lumix BGH-1 camera as an economical option. It has cutting-edge technology to guarantee high-quality film and is portable and simple to operate. The 10.2-megapixel Live MOS sensor in the camera reduces a noise thanks to dual-native ISO technology. In addition, it features an integrated V-Log L pre-installed for 10-bit C4K at 60 frames per second and a VFR function for slow-motion video recording. There are no worries about running out of recording time because the camera has a novel heat dispersion construction and can record indefinitely. Moreover, the camera has capabilities like power over Ethernet Plus and PO Plus 4 simple setups and Lumix Tether for multi-camera control over up to 12 cameras. It features several outputs, including HDMI Type-A terminal, USB-C 3.1 Type-C, 3G SDI, and Genlock IN-Timecode IN-Out functionalities for synchronized multi-angle video recording. Professional and amateur filmmakers alike can benefit from the Lumix BG Home, which can stimulate creativity and elevate your output. So, this was our list of the 5 best affordable Netflix-approved cameras. Do you have other models in your mind? Share your thoughts in the comments section below.